Hi, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Well, today I want to answer the question, is baptism really necessary? You know, it seems that sooner or later every idea in the Bible is challenged in one way or another. 100 years ago, no one would even think of trying to uh, excuse the sin of uh, homosexuality, for example, because the teaching on it in the Bible seemed so very clear. Today, entire denominations accept this practice without hesitation, even ordaining homosexual ministers. Well, in the same way, uh, there was a time when the, the teaching on the necessity of baptism in God's plan of salvation was an unquestioned Bible doctrine. Today, not only are various denominations dismissing the importance of baptism, but even preachers and teachers in the churches of Christ are wondering about its role as well. So in this video blog, I'd like to answer those who ask the following type of questions. Is baptism necessary uh, in order to be saved? Or is baptism really necessary for me to, to become a Christian? Well, first of all, I want you to listen carefully to the tone of this question and see if it reminds you of someone. Listen, is baptism really necessary to be saved? There's one question. And then, indeed, has God said, you shall not eat from any tree in the garden? Genesis 3.1. Notice that both questions sound sincere, but at the heart of them is exactly the same thing. An invitation to doubt, to question, or to second guess what God has clearly said. Now, if you've asked this question about baptism, I want you to note and remember the following. First of all, in Mark 16, verse 16, Jesus says, those who believe and are baptized will be saved. In Acts chapter 2, verse 38, the apostle Peter says, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And then thirdly, another passage, Acts chapter 22, verse 16, in describing his own conversion experience, the apostle Paul says that he was told to be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Now, I want you to note that I haven't interpreted any of these passages. I've only read the words of Jesus and the apostles when they spoke about baptism. Now here's what I want you to notice about these passages first. In each passage, Jesus, then Peter, and then Paul talk about salvation in various ways. Uh, they describe it as being saved or being forgiven or having the Holy Spirit or perhaps even having sin washed away. Now, these are all different ways of saying the exact same thing, being saved. Secondly, in each passage, all three mention different things that are associated with being saved. For example, Jesus says, believe, and Peter says, repent, and Paul says, confess Christ. Now, everyone understands that without faith or repentance or the willingness to confess Christ, salvation is not possible. Finally, have you noticed that each person specifically mentions baptism in connection with salvation? Jesus says, believe and be baptized in order to be saved. Peter says, repent and be baptized in order to receive forgiveness and the Holy Spirit. And then Paul says, confess Christ and baptism and then your sins are washed away. So my question back to people who ask this question is this. Just how much proof do you need to be convinced that baptism is necessary for salvation? Isn't the command of Jesus and the teaching of Peter and Paul enough? You know, the Bible teaches that if you believe and confess your faith in Christ, if you repent of your sins and if you are baptized, you will be saved. If you don't do these things, then the opposite is true, you'll be lost. So let's not get tripped up by the oldest scheme recorded in the Bible. Let's not second guess God. If someone asks you this question, don't hesitate to give them the answer that Jesus and Peter and Paul gave when they were asked this very same question. In the Bible, baptism is always associated with salvation. It is the biblical method of expressing our faith in Jesus Christ. Well, that's it for this post on Is Baptism Really Necessary? I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.